Hello, this is the Silver Watchman here to join you in another episode of Random Heroes. Now in this episode of Random Heroes, we complete the first game of the Random Heroes. Pretty cool, huh? It's not just cool. It's Coolio. Why? Why open? Okay, whatever. So, I forget where I was, I was talking about last time, but. Think about this. Every single hero's quest it comes to an end. Just like every single human life comes to an end. Well, it's a bit heavy, but all right. You're not going to be here forever. But you know what else? Neither are all of your troubles. I'm sorry, I got the sniffles. Think about that. Your troubles, your worries, they're not gonna be here forever. Neither are you. You have a choice though. You have a choice. Now, when you now, you could choose to continue walking the path that you're walking. And if you're walking with God, I suggest that you that you're probably watching this. You were probably brought to this by most likely the Holy Spirit, because before every single episode, I I speak to God. And I ask him to speak through me. To let his will be heard. It just dawned on me how really cool that is. Not on my behalf, but the fact that God actually speaks through me. Oh man, that's so cool. You think somebody like me, God can use to basically explain to you you know how everything is oh that's so cool oh that's so cool sorry I'm kind of gushing over here <laughs> now I know I'm, I'm pretty much talking about the same thing. Because these, uh, these aren't sermon series, so... We know this. When, when you're walking with God... Even when you're walking with God, you, you have choices. You could take on the armor of God. Or, you know, you could not take on the armor of God. Uh, and you're basically right now like, wait, silver. You've never mentioned the armor of God before. What is the armor of God? My gosh, it's amazing. It's like the ultimate, like, well, it's the armor of God. Think about that for a second. You get to wear the same armor that God wears. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's really cool. Sorry. Once again, gushing. All right. The armor of God comes in multiple parts. You have the belt of truth. Now the belt of truth means that 
well, it's self-explanatory. You have the belt of truth. You have the boots, if I remember correctly, they are called the boots of firm understanding. Meaning that you understand the the word of God really well. And, and I can guarantee you, there's not many people here who have a very good understanding of God's word. Even I'm lacking in that department, which is part of the reason why I'm doing the Bible series. I'm learning with you guys. Every video is a learning process too. Don't worry. Very cool. But yeah. Actually, yeah, that's really cool. So, it's really cool. Sorry, it kind of, it's a long day, I'm, I'm a little bit spacing out a little bit. That's okay, we all have those moments, right? Now I want you to remember this though. It is not the hardest thing in the world to come to God. For some of you, it may be. You may need to nearly die in order to come to God, and that shouldn't be the case. God should not have to go to such extremes just to get your attention. But in some cases, he does need to. I mean, with me, he kind of needed to. And with some people I know, he kind of needed to, too. And that's okay if he needed to go to extremes just to get your attention. But if you're somebody that's not saved right now... Oh, man. Trust me. It's worth it. Yeah, it's kind of... You'll basically be playing life on hard mode for the rest of your time here on Earth. But, oh, man... It's like super cool. I mean, there's so many benefits. I mean, one, you don't have to be afraid of death anymore. That's a major plus. Are you kidding me? You know where you get to go. You don't have to be afraid of death. I mean, yeah, you still get sick, but... God will heal you. And with God's help, you heal even faster than you did than you would have without His help. Also, like another thing, I, I have to do. I do have to mention is that one thing I do recommend is praying over your meals. No, I know that sounds kind of silly, but let me just, just let me explain. When you pray over your meals, it's, um, it adds a kind of, like, like you bless your meal and you thank God for your meal, which I don't know why, but it kind of makes your meal taste better. It makes it like feel like, wow, this is a gift.
And even if you bought it, think about it. I mean, God made it so that way you could have the money to get food. How many people can honestly say that? Yeah, a good number of people, but at the same time, there's also a good number of people who, who can't say that. You know, people that don't even have a home, job. It's kind of sad, right? Also, one pet peeve I have with this game I never really expressed throughout any of the other episodes of the very first Random Heroes game is the fact that you can't shoot up. You can only shoot from side to side, which makes the game a little more difficult, especially with those little flying doodads. My gosh, does that suck? Okay, yeah, that, that, that's enough of my pee for the game. Other than that, I really do like this game. It's nice, it's simple. It kind of makes me feel like I'm playing Mario and Mega Man at the same time. And I get to collect, you know, pick a hero that, for the most part, basically suits me. And for this game, it's this guy. The guy that basically... You know, kind of like the, the chosen one of... Of all the people. You know, goes in, has to bring light into the world. He, he can see electric. He's like, he's set aside from all the other people in the Matrix. Leo. Set aside from all the other people in the Matrix. <laughs> Do this grand deed and achieve the impossible. Liberating, hu oh. Liberating the humans from their basic robot overlords. Like, I guess it's robot overlords. Kind of seems similar to being a Christian, if you think about it. We as Christians have to make sure that you guys, in a way, are liberated from the darkness, from your demonic overlords. Because without, without God, you can't make it to heaven. And like I said, you can't buy your way into heaven. You cannot by you know make it to heaven by doing all, a whole bunch of nice things and being like, well God's gonna God's gonna let me in now because I was super nice to everybody and I wasn't a bad person. Here's the thing. There's no such thing as a good human. You no no however mace however small every human has sin. Even I have sinned. And sin, no matter how small, can get you sent to hell. 
Now, I know a lot of you are saying, hey, that's not fair. Think about it like this. If you break the law, what happens? You get sent to jail, right? Well, if you sin, you're basically breaking God's laws. And he made the universe, and he's also the judge of everything. Because he's perfect, he can... You know, he has the authority over everything. Now, can he give authority to people like me? Now, everybody that's saved, you have authority to judge. But God also gives you a little bit of warning with that. He's saying the measure that you, of judgment you use against somebody else is a measure of judgment to which you're going to be held. Now with me, I don't judge people. I may get annoyed with people, but I don't judge. <laughs> you know, I'll complain and I'll, and I'll, you know, get upset and I'll gripe. But I don't judge because one, personally, even though I do have the right, I don't want to exercise it because ultimately for me to do that is basically to say, yeah, I have the right. my decision matters as far as this other human's life which is weird because God's given me authority over life and death which means I could based on how my my overview of a person is well, God will kind of go by but God makes a final decision God ultimately makes a final decision all the time So despite even what I say, God decides. But God also knows my heart and God has designed me to be able to feel. I know it sounds weird, but I could feel the. Your soul when I'm around you. Now, there's some people that I personally, I don't like to be around them because I could feel the The malice and darkness of their soul. And unless God tells me to talk to you, if you've got a nasty soul, I'm not going to want to talk to you. Because it makes me feel kind of like, not not upset with you, but more, more along the lines of just kind of sort of sad to be around you. Because I know where you're going to go. It's hell. So just... Just give God a call. Thank you for sitting through this video. This is a blessing. Glory be to God. Blessings be upon you. This is the Silver Watchman. Signing out.